Hey there everybody, it's Mark Crilly. I'm back with another How to Draw video. A couple of weeks ago I did a video about how to draw an angry chibi character. People seem to enjoy that one, so I'm going to do a happy, cute uh, chibi character today. Uh, let's jump right into it. I'm going to begin by drawing the head. Um, you know, when you draw chibi characters, and everyone has their own way of doing these things, um, the head is generally very large compared to the body. Uh, so I'm going to start with this uh, circle and give myself plenty of space down here for drawing the body. Uh, and when I do the head of a chibi character, it tends to start as a circle at the top, but then kind of come down and have a little bit of a point uh, at the chin. And that's how I arrive at my chibi character's head shape. Um, this character is going to be kind of unusual. I'm actually going to draw a uh, kind of chibi made character, um, like a cleaning woman or something like that. And it's a fairly common character that you see in uh, Japanese comics, animated films, and so forth. Um, these two little circles down here are going to be the hands that are coming up. She's sort of covering her mouth as she laughs. And uh, down here I'm drawing a couple of uh, forearms. Notice that they point out away from each other in this pose. And I'm going to go ahead and draw a kind of puffy shoulder. I don't know what you call that when a dress has a little puffy area up there. Someone can kind of educate me about the, the proper terminology there. And uh, since she's a maid character, she's going to have a little bit of an apron right here, tucked be behind the two forearm uh, indications indications of forearms there. I, I'm going to go ahead and draw the um, skirt here. I don't like when a skirt is just like a straight line like going across like that. That looks very unnatural to me. So I'm going to give this a little bit of a wave, you know, as it goes across. And that I think that just uh, suggests the cloth uh, a little better. Um, I'm going to go ahead and drop in a suggestion of lace here. I don't have to get too much into the details. But uh, the last thing, of course, and, and we're going to sort of imagine where the legs would actually be coming out of here. I'm going to draw uh, um, her one leg very, very, you know, very short and small compared to real life. But that's the whole point of uh, chibi drawings, to sort of exaggerate things. And, uh, so this is one of the legs. And then the other leg, and sometimes I can have a little bit of a problem with this getting, this leg is kicking up behind her, and I just want to get uh, the toe kind of pointing off. I find that uh, a lot of chibi characters, the feet are very minimized. You're not making big clod hopper uh, feet on these characters. You have to keep that very much under control. Um, and now, finally, I think we can start doing the details of the head. Um, if you look at the circle here and you kind of imagine a halfway point between the top and the bottom, I find that most uh, chibi artists will actually put the eyes uh, well below that halfway point. And uh, these, uh, sometimes you'll see these really super happy eyes. That's not the kind of drawing I'm going for today. I'm just giving them a little bit of a curve. And uh, while I'm in here, I'm also going to do... Um, folds of the eyelid. You know, why don't I, since I'm doing details of the face now, I'm going to zoom in so you can get a better look at that. Okay, so like I said, if there, if you sort of imagine a midway point there, the eyes come in just below that midway point. Uh, no nose uh, in my uh, chibi drawings. I find that most chibi artists will leave the nose out completely. Um, as you hear a truck come by in the background. Uh-oh, I forgot, is this garbage day? I gotta get the garbage out. Uh, anyway, this is uh, where we put in the eyebrows. Uh, get a little bit of a distance. I saw, you know, we had this sort of midway line. I think the eyebrows are gonna come out. And then the angle of the eyebrows is important. Notice that they're kind of going up just a little bit towards the middle of the head. And uh, I'm not going to get too much into a line by line on the hair. I think, you know, you guys can all sort of find your own preferred ways of drawing hair. Um, but uh, uh, notice that the ears are a little low on the head. Of course, the eyes are low to begin with, so uh, they end up kind of around the same place. And I'm going to just dash in some lines here for the uh, bangs. 
course, not all characters have bangs, so you may not be drawing that at all. Um, up here at the top of the head, I'm going to do a little bit of a, it almost looks like a tiara or something. It's, uh, it's that sort of made, that cl classic made cap uh, that a, a cleaning woman uh, will sometimes wear. I don't know if they actually wear them in real life. I'm just doing cartooning stuff here. Uh, in any case, so I'm going to add an extra line here. Notice that the hair actually comes off above that first line that was the line of the head. Um, uh, true of a lot of manga illustrations, the hair tends to be very full-bodied and, uh, and take up quite a large proportion of space relative to uh, the face. I'm just dashing these in, and I think I'll go ahead and add um, a sort of uh, ponytail. This must be coming off the back. Again, I don't want to spend too much of this video just talking about the hair. But now that we've got that in place, maybe I can go in and add some more of the details. Um, let me uh, switch to my black Prismacolor pencil. Better give it a good little sharpen before I continue. So uh, here we go. I'm going to go ahead and darken this in a little bit. I find that the outside edges of these eyes, it can be kind of cute if they are a little thicker and then they sort of get a little thin uh, towards the inside. Keep those uh, folds of the upper eyelash pretty thin. Uh, also the eyebrows tend to be pretty thin. Um, when we get down here to the uh, hands, uh, I find that chibi artists are not drawing the details of each individual finger so much. I tend to break it into maybe two sections. Uh, it almost looks like cat paws or something the way I draw it. Um, I'm going to give her a little frill of uh, lace here uh, at the ends of each of her sleeves. And that's going to get repeated as we move on to other parts of her costume. Um, and uh, let me just go ahead and kick the rest of this into time lapse as I uh, uh, add final lines to the uh, hair. All right, I thought I would slow it down just a little as I do uh, some of the some final black lines on the lower part of the drawing here um, because the, actually some of the details have not yet been put in such as um, for the apron um, I'm going to add a little frill along the bottom that just becomes a sort of uh, repeating thing with this costume the little lacy uh, frills uh, or borders what do you call that you guys gotta help me with my <laughs> clothing terminology. Obviously, I need to study a little more about this stuff. Um, and then uh, adding, I like to add it, this is not one of these pleated skirts that you see me do uh, in a lot of these videos, but I do want to have a couple of these uh, sort of vertical-ish lines that are uh, coming down to suggest folds in the skirt. Now I'm saying suggest all the time. I finally... <laughs> cured myself of saying indication, now it's suggest. These lines will suggest this. Uh, anyway, let's go ahead and finish this off. I'm going to do the uh, cute pudgy little leg down here. Uh, it does sort of divide into two parts, uh, like a real leg, but uh, just a very subtle uh, indication of the knee. Oh, indication. Uh, indication of the knees uh, there. And uh, let's go ahead and, like I said, the, the, the feet are very minimized, uh, it seems to me, in a lot of these chibi drawings. Um, just a little bit of a circular area there at the bottom of uh, each leg. And just one final detail, or maybe two, I'm going to uh, give her just a little, what do you call these, thigh-high stockings kind of a thing. Um, Got to not forget to get the bottom of the other shoe in there. And uh, finally, to finish it off, just the other side of the uh, skirt dropped in there. And I'm going to switch now to uh, uh, time lapse as I finish off uh, doing the shading. I know a lot of people out there say, hey, you got to do a shading video, and I will, but uh, today is not the day for that. I think it would make this video too long. So let's go ahead and kick it into time lapse and finish off this drawing.
All right, well, there you have it. I think we're pretty much done with this. Um, oh, well, I forgot, though. I gotta add the all-important blushies. If only because it gives me the opportunity to say the word blushies. Um, <laughs> so <laughs> I think we are pretty much done with this. Oh, I could drop a, put a drop shadow in here. Uh, that's a nice way of uh, uh, making it, uh, you know, just sort of showing the surface that the character is on. And notice that when you put in a drop shadow, that the darkest part of the shadow tends to be uh, nearest to the object. And that's just based on real life, that uh, shadows are darker as they get closer to the object, and then the sort of light sort of spills in and and makes the shadows lighter as they get farther away. Um, well, thank you so much, friends, for uh, watching my videos, for subscribing. Um, I uh, always have to thank anyone who buys uh, Minky Falls, my manga series, as well as Brody's Ghost, which uh, is out in ebook form. Just heard this morning from someone in Australia who bought that for their iPad. Thank you so much for doing that. Um, uh, but maybe it's time for me to go ahead and lay the pencil down. Thank you so much for watching my videos, for linking to them on Facebook or Twitter. Twitter. Um, and if you do want to reach me, by the way, the best way is at Twitter. That's my kind of catch-all way of uh, being in touch with my YouTube viewers. Go find me at uh, twitter.com slash Mark Crilly. Uh, I do my best to reply to all the tweets I get. Uh, we'll see if I can keep up with it. Anyway, that's enough for now. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it useful, and I will be back with another one real soon.